Greetings everyone. Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 25th January 2023. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Chief Justice of India DY Chandrachud has said that the process of releasing Supreme Court judgments in regional languages has begun and as a first step towards the same 1091 judgments of the top court will be released in Odia, Garo and other regional languages on Republic Day. The Supreme Court has set aside the Allahabad High Court order refusing to entertain the Yes Bank plea challenging police investigation into an FIR lodged by the SL group in connection with the Bank Dish TV dispute on pledging of shares. News highlights from the high courts starting with the Bombay High Court. The Bombay High Court while refusing to stop GoDaddy from registering future domain names infringing Swiggy's trademark has directed GoDaddy a domain name registrar to inform food delivery service Swiggy each time a domain name containing its trademark Swiggy is registered. The Bombay High Court has ruled that failure to adjust interest paid by the National Center for Performing Arts was hyper technical and should not come in the way of implementation of Sapka Vishwas Legacy Dispute Resolution Scheme 2019. The High Court has granted anticipatory bail to 3 persons accused of committing atrocities against a member of a scheduled caste observing that mere creation of sound by accused in his own house cannot mean that it was with sexual intent. News highlights from the Kerala High Court. The Kerala High Court has ruled that the presence of gold in your pocket without the appropriate documentation raises suspicions of evasion of tax. The High Court has directed the Claims Commissioner to commence proceedings for quantification of the damages caused on the account of flash hartal called by Popular Front of India in September 2022 from next week onwards. News highlights from other high courts in the country. The Delhi High Court has held that the payment of tax and penalty to release the detained goods shall not be treated as admission on part of the assessee. The court has observed that the petitioner has paid the tax and penalty for the release of the goods and that the set payment was not voluntary. The Karnataka High Court has said that if some land owners have relinquished their land, it cannot be a ground to compel other land owners to do so except in accordance with the law. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.